nights, 33, sinister and surreal, take over Halloween. All right, dude, 10 houses, five scare zones. You yep. ready? I'm ready. Let's go. We have to What'd you think? I thought it was good. I, I don't know as much about Quiet Place, but it was fun. It was fun. It almost felt like there was animatronics. Do you there feel like was. It, there was? There definitely was. It were puppets, but they were, were puppets. They yeah. were really, really cool. They're big, grandiose monsters. Yeah. 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 I feel like uh, the scare actors. There was like a lot of extra ones in there. It felt like yes. it felt like very close to you the entire yes. time. Absolutely. Yeah, Lots of it. mixed uh, environments too. Like when, uh, being on the dock. That was really cool. Yeah, I agree. Scare Zone, uh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, medieval. Yeah, medieval, but like it's like humorous at the same time. Yeah. Really liked it. I had a really good time. Loved it. She but, was uh, saying a minute ago, I was realizing how many scare actors there were. She said this is the most they've ever had with over 1,300 this year. 1,300 is a lot. A lot of scare actors. Major Sweets Candy Factory. Woo! My advice to you here, don't eat the candy. All right? You better get inside before the kids eat all the great apples. <laughs> Hi, I'm the street. Welcome. While the kids eat that candy, you can have that one. It's the candy! It's turning the kids against us! Think, man. Major sweets. Major sweets. I, I feel like it was scarier than the last one. Yep. It is like their fun house because sometimes there's like a fun house, right? Yeah. But I had a really good time in there. I really like that one. I like that one more than Quiet Place. I agree. Very similar to the first scary zone that we went to. It was yes. like a little bit more fun, but, but then campy. also scary. Campy. campy. Yeah. 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 I had a good time. It was really good. Before we get too much farther into this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. There's no one else bringing you behind the scenes at media events like this and interviewing some of the greatest people in Central Florida running Orlando. Hit the subscribe button. We are about to. Enter the Blum House. Yeah. This year we have a scare zone featuring movies like Freaky, The Purge, Megan. What do you think about Blum House? I feel like it's that's not as immersive as the other ones. Yeah, I feel like they missed a big opportunity because there's so many Blum House like IPs they could have made another house on this year. Happy Death Day. I wanted them to do Purge. Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, and yeah. Not, they're not here. It's it's a cool scare zone. There's not nearly as many actors as the other zone. As the other film. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're celebrating the holiday. Slaughter Cinema. I'm not going to say too much else because I don't want to spoil it, but you're going to see a lot of fan favorites. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, hold it steady, El. <laughs> Next course is hot off the naughty list. Coming to a theater. Nice. Your discretion. Are Bro, all right, so I love the fact that like, before you go into every room, you know what movie it's gonna be, yep. right? So they set it up for you. It's so good. I felt like that house was so long. Like, and I was like, okay, they're only gonna do three movies, four movies, and it was like seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's kept going so and going. And so like one. such a good variety as yes. well. Yeah, yeah. Mummy, mummy strippers. Yeah, that, that one caught me off guard. Yeah, they, they gotta bring the sexy, I guess. I know? guess so. We're gonna get through our scare zone called Swamp of the Undead, or what I like to call Florida. All right, dude, what do you think about our RIP tour guide? Great, wonderful. Yeah, Kate is awesome. I feel like if you can't afford it, you should get the RIP tour. Not only do you get to see all 10 houses, all five scare zones, it's just a great experience to see like the behind the scenes of all of it as well. Yeah. Before we get too far into our tour, there were an incredible amount of different ways that you can actually experience HHN tonight. In fact, I counted over 10 of them. You've got the regular ticket event. You've got the RIP tour. You've got a non-exclusive RIP tour where you'll have other people maybe you don't know with you. You've got a five house tour. Our tour guy was telling us this last night that you can either choose the first five houses in the front or the back five houses. You've got the express pass. You have it stay and scream. You've got after 11. I started seeing posters about this, but I don't even see that part even on their website. You've got your frequent fear passes, and there's actually four different kinds of those where you have either 18 nights, 30 nights, 40 nights, or all 48 nights if you want to do that. You've got your lights on tour, which is a really cool experience. I did this two years ago where somebody from the Universal team will walk you through during the day with the lights on and show you all of the artistry of each different house, or at least a couple of them. And then the last wing that they offer, this was a couple nights before opening night, was called the Premium Scream Night. This is $350 for the event. They almost only a certain amount of them that where people were allowed to come in, but wait times were like five to 10 minutes overall. It was a really, really cool experience. So many ways to enjoy the horror in 2024. Is anyone here a fan of history and folklore? Yes. Oh, awesome. Ooh. I've got an incredible museum tour planned. We're actually gonna be going to the Museum of International Folklore, where they've got the rotting stone exhibit happening right now. Blame for multiple outbreaks of disease and famine. Monsters House. Yeah, we're excited. We take great pride in our Universal Monsters House, and this year it is a feminine phenomenon up in here, y'all. Hey!
Universal Monsters. Yep. The ladies edition. Yes. What'd you think? I thought it was good. I liked yeah. um there was a scene where we're basically going back into the same scene that we went at the beginning. Yeah. We went back into like the Van Helsing like manor and yeah. it was like it kind of confused me. I was like, have I been here? Yeah. It, yeah. Was, it was cool though. I really liked it. Do you like the little like maybe it was like snow falling as yeah, you walked in? Dude, it just sets the tone for the entire thing. Yeah. There was also a scene in there where the wolfman or whatever yeah. was like running towards you and I love those scenes. Me too. It's really good. A lot of mirror effects in there too. Yes. Love it. This video is brought to you by the Posey Group Real Estate Agents here in Orlando, Florida. If you're looking to sell or buy a house anywhere in Central Florida, we want to be your real estate resource of choice. Make sure you reach out at the orlandoreal.com slash real. Goblins Feast. So this is another universal uh, original storyline. Our goblins, they like everything broiled, braised, but their favorite way to cook anything is to not cook at all and have it be alive and screaming. Indian humans. Trace again! Order up! You disrespect the ancestors! What'd you think of that last house? I uh, loved it. I love the campy, like, almost like this fantastical vibe. And at the end, there were more puppets. I feel like it was also scare actor after scare actor after. It was like packed, the yeah. most that we've seen tonight. Yeah. Uh -huh. We were much more excited in the first recording. We had to redo this one, so it may sound like we're not as excited, but I really, really <laughs> love that house. It's it definitely super good. top five so far. Yeah, I loved it. All right, awesome. Demon Queen scare zone. Now, Demon Queens are going to be all about these four queens that are going to be possessing all of their followers and tortured souls around there. Do we know a little bit about our icons at all? Yeah. So we got Sinister and we got Surreal. They're all about psychological and physical fear and pain. <laughs> Duality of fear. There's nothing necessarily special about this except it is our icon's scare zone. That's what makes it special. There's something strange in your neighborhood. Who do you guys normally call? Ghostbusters! Ghostbusters! Exactly. We're back together with the Spangler family, right? But now we're kind of dealing with a, a monster that's been found in this old ancient artifact. Sorry, lady. The camera gets confused.
Ghostbusters. I thought that was the best themed one of the night. Yeah, the big grandiose area where we go up on the uh, on the firehouse. Oh and man. All the scenes where there's a lot of ice and the snow. Yes, yeah, very, yeah. Very, very cool. Yeah, I thought that was cool that they tied in a lot of the old IP and the new IP as well. Yeah, I, I like the little uh, tiny Stay Puft Marshmallow guys. <laughs> For sure. Monstros! No! Es mi bebé! Wow! 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 of Monstros. I liked it all right. This is what I'll say about it. I think that depending on kind of your background, uh, it might might be hard for you to take that one in if you have kids or something. Yeah, I didn't like it. That was my least favorite of the night. Yeah. I felt really just because because of the kids. Like, and again, I, I know because depending on your background, yep. maybe you love it. But for me, it was like a lot of like a lot of kids. Yeah. The the problem was that it follows three different monsters from. Uh, South America? Yeah. Yeah. And one of them uh, eats kids. Steals your kids and eats them. So. Yeah. I'm not into kids things for literally anything. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. <laughs> this one is called Triplets of Terror. It's a big old birthday party actually that I've invited you to or that they've invited you to rather. They are turning 10 and we're going to get to go and celebrate with their family. They just have a weird kind of way to celebrate their birthdays. <laughs> I thought it was the scariest one, personally. I get why you would feel that way. And for me, it was. I understand why it's scary. Like as far as like a real concept, where we're, yeah. we're going through the story of like this family that recreates their their like family's murders right. each year on a certain date. It's the most, I guess, like realistic. Sure. In that way, um, it was okay. I, I liked it. It was enjoyable. Yes! Yes! Excellent. In 
Insidious the Further is what the title of this house is called. It is our final house, it's our IP, uh, and it is focused on an area that's featured in every single one of the Insidious movies. <laughs> Insidious, easily the scariest one. Depending on, like, depending. I thought that the scare actors looked the coolest in there, but there's a handful of different ones from different movies that we follow. And yeah, it, I love whenever you go in, there's this big red door, and you're going down this long hallway, and you see this big red door at the end of the eat. It's just really cool way to set up the house. All right, man, so what was your favorite house of the night? Uh, cinema. Sla Me too. Slaughter is it Slaughter Me cinema? Me too. I thought the, the overall, like, the posters going in every room, it was, yep. like, super, like, broad in regards to what you're after. Yep. What was one that maybe let you down? Quiet Place. Quiet it, Place, why? There was a lot of animatronics or, like, puppets or whatever you want to call them in there yeah. that didn't feel like I was getting scared as many times. <laughs> uh, right. It just, it, it felt a little disjointed. I just didn't love it. Yeah. Mine, also, the, the suites, I was really looking forward to that house. And it because really, of the scare zone was incredible. Yeah. yeah. And, and it just really didn't do it for me either. Mine was Monstros, was the, like my least favorite. Yeah. yeah. What do you think had the best theming? Ghostbusters. Me too. Ghostbusters. Easy. Yeah. If you had to rank this year compared to last year, was last year better than this year? Yes. Yeah, I think so too. L last year was better than this year. I feel like the IP was better last year. Um, I still had a really good time, and I'm, we're coming back again. Oh, 100. We're team. coming back again, like like 10 days. Yep. Way more scare actors, yep. which is cool. There's like 1,300, they said. Yeah. There are a lot more puppets, which I thought was interesting. Or like, you know, there's either animatronics or puppets or something like that. Some of them I really liked, like the shark that we saw oh, was really cool. Oh, so good. I almost felt like this year was like a, almost like a stepping stone to like what they yeah. could probably do next year. Like they were trying more people, more things, different, different kind of things. Yeah. Uh, whereas maybe next year they add some different IP that make it even better. HHN 33. In the books.